we, we all have different motivations, no matter what it is. Now you have to become resourceful. You have to dig deep. You have to figure out, okay, I know what my end goal is. How do I reach it? Right. So in your case, you start with these vending machines. Do you start with huge vending machines or do you start with the smaller ones? So for my case, I only had about $400. So I, um, and I actually saved, you know, to start that to back a little further, I actually saved up, I saved it about $3,500. Um, and then I, I purchased my first machine. I found the company that, um, that gave you, it sold you a machine with the location. Okay. So they, found, they found me a, a hotel downtown in Philly and they sold me a machine to go in there. So I'm like, great. Like, sounds like a good spot. But then when I want to go actually visit the location, I'm looking around like, you know, the guy's telling me where you want the machine. I'm looking like, ain't no vending machine going to fit right there. So I called the company and they're like, well, we've been doing this for 20 years. We're telling you it's going to fit. I'm like, okay. And then they came all the way from Maryland, I think it was, which was an hour or some two hours maybe away. Um, got the machine there, it didn't fit. So that was kind of my first whack at it. Uh, off of that, I just got my money back. And then I tried again, I approached the rec center, um, another rec center that I, I used to go to. They didn't have a machine. Everybody would have to always run to the corner store, which is like four or five blocks away, which is far from where I, you know, from where I stay in Philly. You know, we got corner stores almost on every corner. So um, I approached them about having me place a machine in there but then they ended up putting a machine in there themselves. Like when they heard my idea, they was like, oh, well, we could just put one in there. Like, so they, they kind of staked me on that. Um, this is the same company? Huh? No, no. So after I tried the company, I tried to do it myself. So the company tried to put it in the hotel. It didn't work. So I got my money back. So mm -hmm. I was like, fine, I'm just going to find my own location. Yep. So I approached, the, I approached the rec center. And then they... When I approached them about it, they liked the idea, but they decided to buy their own machine. The rec center actually liked the idea and put their own vending machine in? They put their own vending machine wow. in there. So at that point, I just got turned off from it, and then I was like, man, whatever. Um, then I kind of I kind of put it to the side. And then the money that I saved obviously started dwindling down. Like, and I had about five, five or $400 left. And I was like, you know what? I want to take another whack at it. Um, and I brought... Uh, what we call like gumball machines. So I brought like four. Like them old brought, school gumball machines with yeah, the big yeah. round? Right, right. So I brought four of those. Um, with $400? I, I no, so not the big, you're talking about like the wizards. The wizards are like the big globe and they got the thing that spiraled down. Uh -huh. Yeah, I brought, um, they were more so like the try, the, the try, the try, the try head thing. So it's like three, three canisters and this candy in each canister. Yeah, so with like four hundred dollars, I brought I brought four of those, like hundred dollars a piece. Really? Yeah. So can, can we stop here because it's a couple of things I want to pick up on just for my audience, anybody who's listening, who's interested right. in getting into this business. You spoke about getting your first machine, right? From a uh -huh. company that that you can buy it from. They also give you a location. Number one, uh -huh. how did you find this company? Like, if if I tomorrow wanted to find out how can I get into this business, where do I go? And number two, how did you even know how much to save? Did, did you call them first? They told you how much these machines cost and then you saved up or did you have a set number in your mind? No, I just was saving as much as I could save. It wasn't no real uh, set number. But when I, well, after, I, after I saved up, you know, a few thousand dollars, that's when I started looking for like actual, I wasn't even looking for that company. I was just looking for vending machines. So I was on Craigslist. So I went to Craigslist, went into business, and I searched vending machine company. So, and that's when I found I found that uh, company who was doing that service at that time. And then gotcha. I also found people just selling like you know regular men, vending machines on there. So if if I wanted to, if tomorrow I decided I want to start a vending machine business, I can literally go to to services like Craigslist and punch in vending machines, and there's there's going to be a number of um, companies that would sell me not only the machine but also locations. Nah, 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 nah. So it's you'll find most most of the time, nine times out of ten, you're going to find um, somebody selling a machine. They might be they might have a machine in their in their garage or something like that. You know, maybe they somebody left a machine somewhere. 
you know, they got a storage unit, maybe they brought a storage unit, there was a machine in the storage unit. You'll find stuff like that, but for people to be selling location with the machine, that's like rare. Okay. But, yeah, that, that doesn't happen too often. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. Now you buy four of the smaller gumball machines. Right. Where did you buy them from? Same place, Craigslist. Same place, Craigslist. Individual yeah, was, dealer was, or company? It was a, a, a this a person selling them. So a he, he, yeah, he was he had a route which is like he had multiple locations with the machines, but he was moving, so he was selling off the machines. Um, so I ended up I ended up buying four of his machines. He had like twenty something of them. Okay, um, I guess before we even move forward, you're buying a used machine, right? Again, if somebody's watching this, they're wanting to get into your business, is it safe to buy used machines? Uh, should they go test them out first? Like, what is your recommendation on even buying these types of machines from somebody who might have these machines sitting in their storage um, warehouse for years, or maybe they're in use, but people vandalize them, so forth and so on. Like, what's your recommendation? Because I know, I'm assuming you, you got your $400, you want to get back in the game, you bought them, but obviously over time you've learned something right. uh, about how to proceed. I would say if you're, I, I don't get new machines. I don't. I don't really buy new machines. But some even people, to this day, no, I don't buy new machines. Nope. So what we do is like even with the vending machines. So it, some people do, but if you do, like that's that's your niche. Like so, if that's your niche, that's like you, you're going to use that as your pitch when you're approaching these locations and you're trying to get them to accept your service, right? So some people just use the newest equipment, hey, to say, hey, we got the newest equipment, top of the line, whatever, whatever, and that's how they approach it. I, I, I use used machines and I'll just put upgrades on them. So I might get a machine for $1,000 and then I'll take um, a couple extra dollars and put a card reader on there, add some lights, make sure the paint is clean, and then it's just going to look just as good as the the new machine and it is going to fun as long as it's functioning the same, it doesn't really, you know, make a difference. As long as it's working and then collecting money and delivering my products, it's it's cool. Like so that's such great information. Cause I'm thinking obviously technology changes. I'm thinking right. in order to stay up with the 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 world as technology is changing, you have to have the newest equipment. I didn't realize you can buy parts and keep adding on to this thing. Right, right. Yeah, you definitely, you just bought it. You just, you're right though. You do have to keep up with the technology, but you can, you can literally just, it's like plug and play. You just put it on there, hook it up, and then, you know, you got the newest stuff on a, a older model machine. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.